Hi. <laughs> Uh, I'm Professor Marionetti, currently the chair of the history department, and um, uh, I'm teaching uh, classics, ancient history, mythology, and everything which is related with the ancient world at Lehman College for the last 20 years. Oh, oh this is one of my favorite courses. It's uh, the history and archaeology of uh, uh, the Minoan and the Mycenaean civilization. And uh, it takes place in situ in Crete, uh, where uh, just going around uh, with the students uh, three, four times a week to different excursions. We are um, visiting the sites. Uh, we have lectures uh, in situ on the sites, and uh, definitely we meet in a conference room uh, uh, in the afternoon. We are staying in uh, this uh, beautiful hotel uh, that it's uh, made out of individual buildings like bungalows. Uh, each one of them, perhaps, it's a two-story building with um, uh, apartments and uh, students uh, stay in apartments with usually two or three beds, uh, a, an individual a, a bathroom, fairly big bathroom, a, a dining room area, a little kitchenette, a refrigerator, a beautiful balcony overlooking the seawater. If it's upstairs, but even if it's downstairs, it overlooks the water because the hotel is, is on, on, a, on a hillside. And um, we have all the accommodations. There is air conditioning, there is TV, and we have free internet. I mean, Greece is full of various archaeological sites, but, but Crete is more uh, self-contained, and it allows us to, to study one civilization instead of going uh, throughout different archaeological and historical periods. And this is a little bit more manageable for the students. So one of the most important, uh, the largest and uh, well excavated archaeological sites is um, in uh, the city of Knossos, which is in, in the region of Heraklion, where we stay. Uh, other sites, as uh, we go always eastwards, are Malia, Festos, uh, um, Katozakro, uh, the farthest one, and, uh, and different others. The students must must attend these archaeological visits, uh, they must read the books and the articles, and they must be willing to converse. I assign a couple of students uh, the previous day um, to talk about the site, of course definitely with my, my help and definitely with uh, my, my instructions, and we all talk together, we visit uh, the sites um, um, and we check them with detail, and uh, then, uh, if it's late, we go to lunch, or if it's uh, and if we do have time, we may swim, and then we go back to the hotel. And the students might rest for a couple of hours, and then continue with the other professor. In the evening, we mostly go out together, having dinner, and uh, or we cook. We cook, and we share the food. We have fun. We talk, and we laugh. Uh, in our first trip, which I'll never forget because we had some very interesting students, uh, we had a, a sort of a, um, a bodybuilder person, uh, a, a wonderful, wonderful student and an extremely wonderful human being who managed to get the students together every morning in the swimming, uh, swimming pool and, um, and have them exercise starting their day with aerobic exercises. Um, uh, we have had uh, students creating groups uh, um, like cooking together. Uh, students uh, look to expand their knowledge and uh, a, a program abroad definitely enhances not only their knowledge but also you know, their, their um, experience with, uh, surrounding with uh, other cultures, other languages, other places. And uh, we all know that traveling um, is beneficial to our knowledge and uh, it opens uh, our mind widely and uh, definitely these uh, uh, studies abroad, uh, study abroad programs are, uh, uh, in my opinion, the best that uh, every university could have.